Hi girls, welcome back to my channel here on Glam Beauty 101 and today I wanted to do this really quick video just showing you how to custom your thumbnail and it's really quick and it's also free because you know when you upload a video it automatically gives you like a thumbnail and it gives you three options but sometimes those options are not really you know pretty they're just kind of cut out from your video So you're gonna wanna open Google and we're gonna put pick monkey and we're gonna go here on the second where it says pink monkey free online photo editor. So we're gonna click there and as you can see on top it says edit, touch up, design and collage. We're gonna go where it says design. We're gonna go to open and we're gonna select the picture that we wanna edit. So as you can see, this picture is long ways. If you try to upload this to your thumbnail, it's gonna go on your thumbnail, but it's gonna like cut off a lot of the picture. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to rotate the picture this way, so that way that the whole picture is in the frame. And I'm gonna put apply. And as you can see, it has different features you can use here. You can resize, you can change the color, you can, you can actually apply some more brightness, highlights, shadows, or contrast. It has a lot of features you can use. Once we've done that, what I usually do, I come over here where this butterfly is at and it says overlay, so I'm gonna click that. And it automatically gives you a lot of shapes you can apply to your picture. As you can see, it gives you a whole bunch of stuff. But what I usually use this for is to add my name. So I double click that and as you can see, it, it pops up. So what I usually do, I resize it. Just by pulling it, you can resize. And I'm just gonna put it right here for now so you can actually see it. So you can resize. Just like that, and you can also change the color. But I usually try to keep it just that my normal pink that I usually have. Once you're happy of how it looks, I'm just gonna delete it and I'm gonna apply it again so I can keep it the color that it was. And I'm gonna apply it here. And you can also add some text right here where it says like the TT it has a lot of features of letters and if you want to add you know some more words or whatever you want to do it has all these type of letters you can use or ways of how to write just like this and it has a lot also you can use your own that you know it's they're on your computer so you can come here and you can use just the normal ones that you have here and as you can see you have a lot to choose from and one that I use a lot and that y'all probably seen it a lot here on my channel is this one right here I really like it so you double click it and you put add text right here so now we can write Just wrote hello ladies and as you can see you can change the color just highlight it that and you can change the color you can resize it and you can add it to your picture just like that and once you click it you can if you don't like how it looks you can readjust it you can also do um, cutouts like on the edge let's see and some of these you have to have like an account with them but for most part I mean you can use this but 
anything that has a little monkey on there you have to have like an account with them but if you, you don't have to pay for it, it it has different different ones so you actually don't really need it because it gives you a lot of free ones so you really don't need to pay for it um it also gives you like textures that you can put on your picture but that's mostly if you just have like words or something like that that's how I usually use it um, it also gives you themes like winter celebrate sweetheart school vampires zombies day of the dead witches and just different one like trick-or-treat let's say this is for Valentine's so I would go here and you can let's say I want to add some hearts I just click on them and you can rotate them the way you want to just like that you can also change the color do two colors see how they they change colors and if you don't want it you can just delete it and it has a whole bunch of stuff that you can use you can see here you can have some cutouts I hope this helps you know the ladies that have been asking me how I do it um, once you're finished and you're happy on how it looks, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I go here and I save it. You want to be here in the middle where it says great quality, good file size. If you go to the second one, it's gonna be a little too big and it's not gonna fit your frame. And if you go too small, then if you go here, it's gonna be too small. So you always want to keep it in the middle and then you just put save to your computer you put it to where you want it to be saved i go to my youtube account and i go to you can see on this bottom one it says change image because as you can see if I were to put this one you really that really doesn't show anything it doesn't really say anything also this one right here just has a picture of the water you know you can customize it and make it your own and that kind of gets people to kind of click on your videos and see oh let me see what this video is about you know so let's go ahead and click that one to change the image and I'm going to go to my file. Once I'm there, I'm going to look for the file that we did. So I'm clicking it and then I put choose. And it should upload. Once it's up, I'm going to put say changes up here. Once that's saved, I'm going to click here to make sure that it did go on there. Now if I want to change it again, I'm going to click the picture that I want. So once that finished uploading, I'm going to put save, changes, and then I'm going to go back to see if it actually changed it, and as you can see, there's my picture and this way is the easy way that you can you know change your thumbnails and make it fun and make it where you know girls would like to watch the video and just kind of let them know what the video is about so that's how I do my thumbnails let me know if, in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this I'm showing you how I do my my editing on my videos or how I add music to my videos or where to get free music that you can actually use on your videos 
I would love to do like a series of these type of videos and maybe upload these kind of videos on Saturdays. So let me know if you're interested in these kind of videos so I could keep doing more. And well, ladies, I will catch you in my next one. Bye.